how to create email automation in Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to create email automation in Squarespace. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Squarespace. Then you need to sign in into an account. As you can see here, we have this little favicon of our account containing a letter of G, which is uh, indicating to Jack. So right there, we are going to click on account dashboard. A little disclaimer, guys, everything created in this video, such as email addresses, accounts are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. So keep that in mind and use your own information. As you can see here, I have a lot of websites. Some of them are expired and some of them are still working. All we need to do is to click right there on create website. If you don't have a website, it would take you to a page right there to set up your uh, specific website. You can create, for example, a store, a consulting website, a real estate website, a design or a portfolio website. It is up to you to use. You can skip these steps and set up um, right here, uh, browse templates or build with the help of the AI. So right here, I'm going to select a website, then I'm going to click on it. It would take us to the dashboard of that specific website. Then we will get uh, the loading screen of that specific website. As you can see, it has been loaded. This is a, a portfolio uh, website that I have created for just an example video. So now, uh, without a further ado, we are going to set up the email automation. How we can do that? Simply, we are going to the left side menu right there. Then we are going to scroll a little bit until we see here the marketing. Click on marketing and now it will show you the marketing options that you can get. We have a lot of options. So. What we need to do is to create a email automation and how we can do that simply we can go ahead and visit the email campaigns for example and right there we have uh, the templates we have the automation and we have everything so we are going to visit the automation uh, here uh, this is the automation as you can see we are going to uh, add a new automation click on add here, select a campaign type. We have the uh, three types right there. We have for the subscribers activity, three types, and we have some customer activity, we have a six. So for the subscribers, we have welcome email, a check-in email, or a new subscriber email. For the customer activity, we have a thank you message for joining a program or buying some stuff. Product recommendation email. This is a standard. And also we have repeat customers, a uh, reward loyal customers by sending a discount, created email right there after a repeat purchase, follow up email, for example, for an order, a return, or something like that. VIP email for rewarding customers and student onboarding email. So let's go ahead and set up one of these. Let's go ahead and click on create a say hi. These are, I think, uh, some standards. As you can see, we can go ahead and select one of these templates. Then we can go ahead and work with them. So we are going to set, for example, I would like to set this one. I am going to use this template, click on use it. So we are going to see the uh, template uh, editor in just a few seconds. Now we have our editor ready. We have uh, the styles and the email component. For the style, we can right here change the email background, the content background, the fonts, and also the text. So for example, I'm going to change the email background to something more clear. Maybe like this color or we can go ahead and use the site palette uh, in place of the email palette. So we have here the site palette, the, the website that we have created. It has some palettes or color palettes that has been integrated within the theme of it. For example, we have the darker version like that or like that. So 
this is the same i'm going to choose something more like that and this is it for the content background you can set it right there to uh, a color or transparent make it how much or however you want for example like that go ahead and put it like this bluish sky bluish one so i'm going to change the palette again to something maybe more bluish uh maybe it will match the theme like that so for the fonts we are going to choose a font i'm going to choose maybe a font from there or mixed like that maybe like this this is a little bit not convenient for me but i think the uh, standard one is better uh, here we have the font size you can uh, go ahead and set the heading only or you can set also all the fonts like that and boom so now let's go ahead and uh, see if we can modify the components right there we have here a header as you can see everything is clickable for right there you can go ahead and click on the email right there or the header you can add a logo for example an image logo or a text for example i'm going to add a in, in the place of the brand name i'm going to set for example jacks welcoming you i mean you uh jacks is welcoming you for that you can go ahead and uh, make the uh, font size a little bit better or also you can change the uh, color of it and here you can add some padding some sections heading and etc that was for the image also we can add an image or a logo here for this specific banner we have a banner you can put it a grid a card for example or uh, whatever you want a slide maybe i'm going to stick to the banner you can set a spacing a section color to it and also you can show the captions on it uh, here we have the demo image which is unlinked you can go ahead and put a link on it so whenever a client client uh, click on it they will uh, will be directed to another uh, page or a menu that was for this specific one so right here we have a section and all of these are some sections if we click on the plus button right there we can add a section here we have a text section an image a spacer line button blog discount and product you can go ahead and um, add a whatever section from these then you can modify it for example we are going to add let's say a blog and for there you can go ahead and uh, select the blog section or post that you have created already into your website in my case i didn't uh, or i don't have currently a blog so i will uh, retrieve that now let's go to another thing that we can modify which is the email here we have the subject line we have the email preview to and from uh, the sender and recipients here we have the footer if we are going to add a footer or not for the business name legal name the city and country you can schedule it and then you can send a test and to finish if you want to send it to a recipient you need to upgrade to a, a premium uh, account that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one